video is not for the close-minded individuals, the ones who can't take anybody else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to tranny port. Yeah, that's right. I said it. T.S. Robbins said it. To tranny port to Nina's review in three, two, one. I'm Nina, Bo Nina Brown, and you are now watching the Nina channel. <laughs> Oh, I hate my life. <laughs> Twas the night before Christmas, all over the house. Not a creature was stirring. Not even your father in your mama's blouse. You know the blouse he be wearing when your mom's at work? You know he's the cross-dresser. You know the one. Oh, oh. It's so good to see you guys again. Well, you know who I am. Nina, Bonina, Banana, Fafana, Osama, Bin Laden, Brown. Well, before we get into all these little acquaintances, I'm feeling a little parched. Please excuse me as I get myself some bubbly. <laughs> Shut up! Oh no, did you guys really think I drink real alcohol? Well, what would my cousin Jerome say? Oh, this is really hard. Oh, Bernard! I forgot, Bernardo went on Christmas leave. Remind me to fire him when he gets back. And if anybody's feeling down, sad, miserable, not me, doesn't have a PS5. I want to do a little lip sync for you to hopefully get you in the Christmas spirit. See you in the other room. The snow is snowing, the wind is blowing. Well, Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. Um, and all those good things, or whatever holiday you celebrate, it is I, Nina and Bonina, Banana, Fafana, Osama, Bin Laden, Brown, and we are back. Christmas came early for some of y'all, because some of y'all, I am your Christmas gift. We're doing an early video because they released the cast of season 13. I have not watched it or to meet the queens or anything, so but before we get to that, if anybody's new to my channel, this is where we keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Meaning, if you don't keep it cute here, you got all these messy things to say, you can't value anybody else's opinion without being disrespectful, you will be blocked and chopped. So, I'm hoping that a lot of you are excited to watch this season of RuPaul's Drag Race. I really don't know how excited I am or not, but at this time around, I have been avoiding spoilers. I am Jasmine Masters, and I have something to say. Jeez. Everybody come apart. Oh shit, she's coming. Hey guys, let me stop recording down here in my mom's living room before she comes out here and whoop my butt. Back to the dungeon, I go. Oh, well, we're back to this, well, as the Chicago Queens call it, my mom's attic. Well, welcome back. And guys, I'm literally recording as I'm like trying to watch the Game Awards, because I'm trying to see are they going to like secretly reveal this alleged Silent Hill game that we've been hearing about forever that I can't wait to play on my P... PS5. <sighs> but yeah. Oh, and I want to go ahead and read some tips. I haven't done tips in a long time. There's some old tips, but if you're here, I want to say thank you. Thank you, Anime, for tipping me and watching my gaming streams. You have been tipping me, and I appreciate you so much. Thank you for taking the time to watch my, my, my videos. 
And thank you, Tracy S. Kurt, as always, for looking out for me. You know how we do. Thank you, Rosinda Rea. Thank you, Jen Wong. Andre Bennett, thank you for that good old tip. I know, because I was not doing any videos. And you missed me, and I'm glad you missed me. I'm trying to get back in the mood for doing all this. So thank you for the good old tip. Thank you so uniquely me as well for sending me that good tip and looking out for me throughout the time that I was not saying anything and I appreciate you. And thank you, Airy Potter, I appreciate it. If you guys would also like to tip me, support this channel then, and to keep me wanting to do raw views, tip me. <laughs> Cash app and Venmo is Pierre D's, P-I-E-R-R-E, -R -R -E, last name D-E-A-S-E, -E, and PayPal link and all that will be in the description. So make sure you check it out. So guys, are you ready to get to this? Girl, y'all know I'm gonna y'all know I'm gonna give my honest opinion. Y'all know how I do. Y'all know exactly how I do. So I'm nervous for these girls. And I'm nervous for me to have to do a whole goddamn of the year of drag race robbies. Shit. Child, let me take this loud thing off. It is cute though, isn't it? It's so doesn't it smell like Christmas? So what had happened was what I had heard is what be what is, is that um, season 13, the little like sneak peek trailer got leaked and it wasn't supposed to be out. Way ready for this. RuPaul's Drag Race is back. We're kicking off the season with six lip syncs for your lives. Hold on, press pause. Um, but you know how these companies do, these people do. Like, they probably leaked it by themselves so they can start buzz about it. And honestly, it should be out now because they're dropping the season on New Year's. So, yeah. And the little snippet that they showed, I mean, wasn't much at all. It was kind of boring, you know, just like, oh, there's going to be six lip sync. And I'm like, like, is this another, like, plastic? Honey Davenport and all that, you know, Honey Davenport was crawling on the ground like a roach, barefooted, and RuPaul was looking like, the fuck? Eating for tonight, tonight, tonight. <laughs> I don't know, like, just, you know they gotta come up with some kind of thing to keep it going. With that being said, I don't know how they went about doing the recording, but I'm quite sure they took precautions and measures for Corona and all that. But let me just go ahead and say, these little cute little trailers are showing of Jada Essence Hall. <laughs> is sickening. Now the color scheme, do you guys like this color scheme, this kind of pastel that they're going for? It doesn't really give me drag race, it's very different, but Jada looks sickening like i have to give it to her like girl y'all know i'm girl y'all know i'll put some butterflies on my face some leaves so i live for the butterflies i think this is so gorgeous and i really hope that they kind of like give her a little spotlight on the actual show because season 12 as we know the girls didn't really get to do much afterwards because of the whole pandemic and we don't know how it's going to be in 2021 hopefully it'll be better who knows but she looks good like I live and I live for her like just standing there and then turning around and you see like the little background of the girls giving Pokemon tees. <laughs> I live. Bring in the Rue year with 13 new queens ready to rise to the runway. When they go low, we go high. So this promo, official promo, I mean, beautiful colors. Like, you know, the whole pastel thing, I'm not really that excited by this promo that much. Like, I don't think it's their best promo. Um, and I'm sure they're gonna show more trailers of them of the actual what's going on in the show. So I don't really know what's gonna, we don't know what to expect, which is kind of good, but I'm like, I'm not, I'm not that wild by it. I'm like, okay, like, do you guys like this? Are y'all looking for it? Bring it back, back, back. Bring it back to basics. Bring, bring it back, 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 back. Bring it back to basics. And this other little meet the queen shorts or whatever they're calling it. I don't get why they put it vertical. Like I'm like, aren't y'all professional bitches? Like not not vertical. That's my kind of tea. Like that's what I did. <laughs> but let's get to this meet the queen so I can get my honest opinions about these queens. So here we go. 
been doing drag for two and a half years. I worked my ass off, hustled through my city. So it was a fast come up. I felt like I was ready to audition and I guess I was. Okay, Denali. Denali, um, y'all correct me. I don't know if she's like, I know she's of Latino descent, but like she Mexican, she's Spanish. I, I don't know, y'all let me know. Okay, now we know we don't like when queens, when people compare queens out the queen. I'm not comparing her to this queen. And when I do say somebody looks like somebody, I'm actually looking at features, I'm looking at everything. I'm not just saying, oh, Mexican, you're so-and-so. Oh, you're black, you're so-and-so. I'm like, but just looking at her face a little bit, she kinda gives me, and I'm sure some of y'all have said this, Valentina. Just a little bit, a little bit. Now, this look, from what I can see, I'm going to rent this look. It's very mermaid, aqua, out of the water kind of tease. I don't really like the things going on on her hair. It looks like, um, you know how like little, like the cupcake, the little paper that the cupcake comes in? That's what it looks like. <laughs> and looking at her page on Instagram, I, not sure what kind of queen she is. I, I can't really tell. As a guy, she seems like she's cute. We'll see. Are y'all team Denali? She said she's been doing drag for two years. I mean, if you didn't come here to win and compete, like, why are you here? You can buy Instagram followers. <laughs> okay, Elliot with two T's. First off, this, this this name, like, like literally her name is Elliot with two T's. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna call her Elliot. <laughs> okay, the look, it's a cute look. I like the volume of the ruffles around here. It's a cute look, I wanna rent the look. She says that she's been doing drag for 12 years. She said that she likes to do drag that elevates drag to the biggest thing, but judging from her Instagram, I not see anything that's elevated or different or blowing my mind. Um, but you know, we gotta sell ourselves, so. <laughs> she says that she's a performer. She likes to dance. So let's see what she gives in the lip sync, if she has to lip sync for her life. We'll see. Are y'all Team Elliot with two T's? I need to be the first trans winner of RuPaul's Drag Race, period. Okay, Got Mick. Not Got Milk, because she will curse you out. Got Mick. She is your first F to M to be on RuPaul's Drag Race. So hopefully these goddamn kids will shut the frick up. Okay, they put somebody on here like this, give them a break. Now let's see what they deliver. Now, as far as the look goes, the cape and all that is just the dramatics, all that is sick. I'm gonna buy the outfit. The makeup, I'm not that big over, but I went to her page, she does do some good makeup. I'm gonna pull the stunt that y'all be, be telling me. Oh, she couldn't paint the rest of her body? It's just white up here? That's what y'all would tell me. But the look still, it's still cute. She's gonna be the artsy queen. Um, or he, see, this is, <laughs> you know, this is gonna be uh, interesting because like you went from female to male only to do drag then. So it's gonna be like, it's gonna be, it's gonna take some people a little minute. And she says that she needs to win to be the first trans winner. I'm like, we need more than a reason than that, than just the win. It's just like when a big girl, I'm big, so I should win. It's like, no, what else are you giving? <laughs> but we'll see what Got Mick gives. Are you guys excited about this? Are you team Got Mick? Let's see. My drag name is Joey J because I'm very lazy. I don't have a drag name. I don't wear wigs. I'm very complacent. I like to sleep in and it's just like the mood. Joey J. Okay, Joey J says that she's lazy. She does not like to wear wigs. She's masculine in drag. I mean, you see? <laughs> okay, this look though, I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna buy this look. 
But she is giving me, in the face here, she's giving me Layla McQueen. And yeah, she seems to have a good personality though. Like I feel like she looks like a fun personality. She's definitely gonna be, even though I don't think there's any trade on Drag Race because y'all know what trade is. Trade is not somebody who looks good. Trade is, Never mind. <laughs> but he's the trade of the season so far because if you go to his Instagram, most of his pictures is him out of drag and he does look good. I, I, I can't take it from him, so. Yeah, let's see what he gives though. Let's see. Are you team Joey J? Hi everybody, it's Ka Mora Hall, the Mackie doll. I'm 28 years old from Chicago, Illinois. Ka Mora Hall has finally made it on Drag Race, bitch. She's there, she's there, honey. She made it on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Girl, Kamora, Ka Mora, and then my season nine, Kamora. I mean, have you ever seen them both in the same room at the same time? Exactly. <laughs> But she's definitely her own queen. She's definitely, um, well, they're both, they're both very bougie and like into themselves. But she's definitely her own queen. Are the cheekbones real? <laughs> Wee! So, yeah. Um, I don't know what she's going to get. I, I, I don't know. Like, is she going to make it far? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Are you guys team Cuh Moral? Next. And where, where the black queens at? Y'all saving them for last? Girl. Honestly, if I'm being like the, like the most honest, 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 I'm most nervous about the food. Like, bitch, I'm a picky eater. Oh, also, I'm nervous that if the girls don't like me, no one's gonna shave my back. Well, the infamous, infamous candy muse, honey, from that, well, are they, are they still the house of Asha? Girl, Candy Muse has finally made it on RuPaul's Drag Race, honey. She has made it. She's there. She's there. Girl, what well, that means that when I get booked in New York again, because she normally, like, you know, introduces me, do I have to now introduce her? Is she too good? Do I have to now share a dressing room with her? Anyway, I'm excited to see what she's going to do. Now, compared to Dahlia from the last season, Candy Muse is definitely going to bring personality. She's definitely going to bring the personality. We will see what she does, but new people love her. And let's see. And as far as the look goes, I'll buy this look. The look, she looks, she looks sickening. The look is sickening. I'm going to buy it. So are we team Candy Muse? Let me know, guys. <laughs> like, this is like the Olympics of drag. Like, every drag girl that I know wants this moment. La La Rie. Now, y'all know I live in Atlanta, Georgia. She's from Atlanta, Georgia. I don't know who the hell she is. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of people I don't get out. Y'all know that Y'all know that the Atlanta scene doesn't fuck with me. I don't fuck with them, okay? But, um, as far as the outfit goes, I mean, she said herself, she's a leotard queen. And zippers. All right, Gabbas. Um, secretly, but publicly, she looks like the blind character from AJ and the Queen. Oh, you know the show, the one that got canceled. <laughs> secretly. She says she dances. She gives me she could dance. So she's definitely gonna be somebody I think, I think to watch on the lip syncs. Cause something tells me she will be lip syncing. <laughs> but are you guys team La La Ring? Let me know. Next. I'm Olivia Lux. I'm 26 years old from Brooklyn, New York. Olivia comes from Olivia Pope from Scandal. Fierce black woman leading. Olivia Lux. Okay. 
I keep doing it, but she kind of looks like skinny Britta. A little bit. But going to her page, she definitely is somebody that I think is going to be together, polished. She has some looks. She's cute as a guy. She seems like she's very into herself. She's like, she can sing, she can act, she can dance, she can pop, she can bop, she can clock. She can, but, but does she have a PS5? <laughs> but she's seeing that one of those girls like, who's very confident in themselves and then we see them on the show and they fall apart. But hopefully that won't happen to her. We'll see. Are you guys team Olivia Lutz? What do you guys think? Let me know. the quintessential New York showgirl. I'm always on stage, singing, dancing, acting. I consider myself a comedy queen. So Rose, okay, not look-wise, but she gives me, she says that she can do all these things, she can sing, she can act, she's very popular in the New York scene, da 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 She's giving me Jan, somebody who thinks they can, you know, do it all, they do it all, they do it all, Jan tees. She considers herself, or they consider her the trade of the season. <laughs> Cute as a guy. I can definitely see her and Lee making love on Lee Dawson's OnlyFans. I see it. This look though, um, is kind of giving me Scarlet Bobo tees from Canada's Drag Race a little bit. It's an 80s kind of look to it, but I'm not really big on it. I don't really care for it that much. I'm not gonna rent or buy it, but um, we'll see what she turns out on RuPaul's Drag Race season 13. Are you guys team Rose? Now I know Gigi good because I met her at Mickey's one day when my house was hosting a party and we were like, bitch, you's cute. And she was like, bitch, you cute. And I was like, okay, let's be friends, bitch. And Simone, 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 okay. Okay, I'm going to buy this look. This look, I'm, I'm buying it. The hair is very octopus. It's sickening. This is sickening. This is a statement. This is, bitch, I'm here. Like, it's sickening. And she is known to be a fashion queen, a black fashion queen, so... I'm gonna give her props on that. No, 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 she don't, no I'm not reading. <laughs> she kinda looks like the female gremlin to me. And I'm not read. that's not a read. That's not a read, because I think the female gremlin is pretty. And y'all saw I turned to the gremlin. She just kind of gives me her a little bit, <laughs> but I live. <laughs> I live, I live, I live, I live, girl. She, but it's so funny because she's this fashion queen, but all the gold teeth at the bottom and she just speaks so country. But I, but I'm excited to see what she's going to bring. I really am like this. Yeah, she's, this is fashion. Are y'all team Simone? I think people are gonna be surprised that an old broom like myself can still sweep. <laughs> Tanisha Iman, another Atlanta queen. I don't know who she is. I know I, I know some Imans, but I don't know I don't know I don't know her. But she gives me the girls back in Atlanta that used to be in the dressing room looking down upon me. <laughs> Not saying she did, like, I don't know her, but that's what she gives me. Like she's the Atlanta pageant queen. But we have seen Patrick Queen surprises on the show, so we'll see what she gives. But she's giving me Jasmine Masters' auntie with a breastplate. So far. The look. But the, she, she's here. You know, um, let's see what she gives. I, I don't know. Now they got two Atlanta queens on this season. Girl, they really trying to get rid of me. Bitch, I've been gone. <laughs> Are you guys Team Tanisha Iman? I have been auditioning. Oh God, I don't know. I think I've auditioned more than I've had sex in my life. I'm gonna lie, actually. I'm gonna say I've auditioned once. We got Tina Burner. She's already given me your campy queen. She's already given me the 
Nina West tease, you know, those kind of girls, the Mimi on first kind of tease. You know, they have to have that girl on every season. Um, this, the look, I'm gonna go ahead and rent the look, you know. Yeah. You, can say, you can say it's tacky, but it's still well done. I'm gonna rent it. Kind of Sherry Pie tease a little bit too. But once again, these girls, they're their own person. We have to see what she gives. Are you guys Tina Burner? Utica is kooky, quite the kook, very kook, much kook, so kooky, and I am also a little bit spooky, so I do the spooky as well as the kooky. Now we have Utica Queen. First off, I'm gonna go ahead and buy this look. The look is, it's, it's kind of sickening, I like it. Her personality definitely seems to shine. She seems to have a, she said she's spooky and ooky and kooky, and I can kind of see that. She definitely kind of, from, judging from her Instagram post, she gives me kind of club kid girl. She's very kind of dragula in a way. I am interested to see what she brings. Kind of like, she, is she gonna give you sure on needle teas? You know, what will she do? But I definitely think she's gonna be somebody to at least have a good personality on TV. Well, that is the last darn queen, honey. Bitch. What do you guys think? Are you guys excited? Are y'all like, oh God, another season? Yay, another season. You know, like, uh, like I could have sworn they were doing the UK first, but damn, season 13, which means, and it's kind of coming on a little earlier than season 12 did, which means All Stars probably coming around, what, April, March? I don't know. But anyway, you guys ready for another season of Raw V, honey? Girl, Jesus, it's that time again. But as always, I want to thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to sit down and watch my videos and take the time to chill with me and have conversation and and have fun, hopefully. And as always, y'all know the deal. Remember to stay beat. Stay beautiful. Ooh, Lulu. But most importantly, <sighs> stay blessed. Until next time, keep my chow. I'm so white and confused. Where is the manager? Where is Fubu?